Hey everybody, Shinigaming here, and today we're going over some more Minecraft tutorials. Alright, so, this is part four of my series. We've gone over very basic um, brewing stands and cauldrons and infinite water sources and a few different potions. Today I'm going to try to go kind of quickly and go through three different potions and a couple of special ingredients to make them. First off, we're going to go over a potion of night vision. First off, you're going to need a golden carrot to go into your awkward potion. Now, a golden carrot, probably should have put this closer, right here. Golden carrot, you will need gold nuggets. You will need eight gold nuggets and a single carrot, and that will give you a golden carrot from your crafting table. Now, from a single gold ingot, you can actually get nine gold nuggets, so you'll have an extra one from, for each gold carrot you make. So after creating eight gold carrots, you'll basically have enough extra ingots to create a free one from your gold ingots. So, you need a gold carrot and an awkward potion, and that will give you a potion of night vision, which will give you night vision for three minutes. You can also increase that with redstone, uh, which will increase it to eight minutes instead of just three. Now, instead of crafting this, uh, I'm going to let you guys do that. I'm going to let you guys experiment with that in your own world, because I, I want to move on to some of the next ones. So next, your potion of invisibility. You actually need a fermented spider eye, which is right here. You need a mushroom, a sugar, and a spider eye. I think they have to be in this... Uh, orientation on the crafting table or even in your own crafting menu and that will give you a fermented spider eye. Now the fermented spider eye instead of getting mixed with an awkward potion actually gets mixed with the potion of night vision. So you will I will go ahead and craft this one just because it's a little bit different um, or at least it seems different. You craft it the or you brew it the exact same way you put your potion of night vision here on the bottom and your fermented spider eye on top and as you can see it is brewing and the little progress bar is moving on. But that will give you a potion of invisibility, which can also be increased with redstone. Um, now I'm going to go ahead and use this real quick, just to show you. I hope it works in creative mode. But, as you can see in my picture here, I am now invisible. There, I, I should have had a little picture of... Well here, I'll go into third person mode. You can't see me at all. You can see my foot tracks as I'm running, but I'm completely invisible. However, if you have something in your hand, like this, you can see my little floating potion. It just floats around with me. If you're wearing armor, your armor will be visible. But, as long as you are invisible, as far as I know, not only can other players not see you, but mobs can't see you as well, as far as I know. Uh, would be would be kind of fun to test that. Uh, wouldn't be terribly useful if uh, you weren't completely invisible. But, yeah, other players will not be able to see you as long as you're not carrying anything, and as long as you, and I don't even think the particle effects are, actually they might be. Particle effects might be visible to the other players. Not positive on that one. <clears throat> so yeah, that's something we'll have to test out. I don't have any other players to test it with, so unfortunately I cannot test that right now. So yeah, Fermented Spider Eye goes with the potion of night vision to create the potion of invisibility. Moving on, our last one for today. This is our potion of leaping. You need a rabbit's foot and an awkward potion. And those will create a potion of leaping. If you mix it with redstone, it will last eight minutes instead of three minutes. And if you mix it with glowstone, it will let you jump higher. I'll go ahead and grab this out of here real quick. Um, in fact, I'm going to grab that too because I'm going to make two of them real quick. I want to see what the difference is between a standard potion of leaping. Whoops. Let's go ahead and put this in there. Let's get that one going. So, standard potion of leaping. I now have a jump boost. I don't think I can jump this high. No, I can jump pretty high though. Normally you wouldn't be able to see over three blocks high like that. So, I can jump pretty high. See, this is two blocks here, so if I jump on top of this... Uh, I cannot, I can't quite get two blocks, so a potion of leaping by itself, I'm not sure how useful that would be, actually, because, I mean, other than maybe jumping up 
I guess you could jump over a block and a slab if there was a slab up here instead of a, a block. Let's check on this other potion real quick. Let's see if it's ready. All right, potion of leaping. Throw the glowstone dust in there. And we wait. And we wait. And it's almost done. This is the longest part of brewing, guys. It takes about 20 seconds, I think, for each potion to brew. There we go. Potion of Leaping 2. Now, if you notice, the normal Potion of Leaping lasts for 3 minutes. However, the Potion of Leaping 2 only lasts for a minute 30 because you've increased the strength. Let's go ahead and drink that. Jump boost 2. Can I jump 3 blocks? I still cannot jump 3 blocks. Can I jump two blocks. I can. I can now jump two entire blocks. Maybe. I don't think so, but I was going to say maybe I could jump two blocks and a slab, but I don't know. That doesn't quite feel like it. It feels like I'm jumping. feels like I'm seeing just exactly two blocks. I don't feel like I'm really dropping much at all whenever I, I hit up here. So in my opinion, the Potion of Leaping 2 is going to be much more useful than the standard Potion of Leaping just because you will be able to jump over a two block wall high. Two block high wall, sorry, I can't speak today guys. But yeah, so that gets us the Potion of Night Vision, the Potion of Invisibility, and the Potion of Leaping. So there's the three last in my opinion useful potions for buffing yourself basically being able to leap higher being able to uh, see in the dark being invisible uh, to other players and potentially mobs though I have not tested that yet um, and then in the other videos the potion of water breathing the potion of swiftness the potion of strength the potion of fire resistance and there we go it's already worn off and the potion of healing because those are the that basically covers just about everything if you happen to have all those potions on at the same time you'd, you'd be practically invincible um, I really don't think hardly anything would be able to hurt you um, and then you'd be able to heal yourself with your potions of healing so yeah that's all for the buffing potions guys uh, pretty soon we'll be starting up the uh, damage uh, poisons and splash potions that you can throw on other players and mobs um, and even the splash potion of weakness which you will need in conjunction with a golden apple in order to cure a zombie villager so if you have not cured villagers before that'll be kind of a fun episode I think so anyways thanks for watching guys that's all for now um, please like the video if you enjoyed comment let me know if you enjoyed it let me know if uh, what potions you like to see next I do got splash potions to left to go over um, and also please subscribe if you want to see more if you if you enjoyed it really helps out guys thanks for watching Shinigaming out